20 online dating mistakes to avoid. In this video, you will discover common online dating mistakes people make which sometimes lead to serious consequences, including death. This video lists the top 20. At the end, you will discover seven simple tips from the top relationship trainers, therapists, matchmakers, and dating experts in the country, which you can use to have a safe and enjoyable online dating experience. As we continue, kindly give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for new educative videos. Remember to share the video on your social media page. Here are 20 online dating mistakes to avoid. 1. Being led by lust. Lust is a powerful psychological force producing an intense, uncontrolled, or illicit sexual desire. The feeling is always based on attractive or a sexual appearance or superficial values. Most online daters confuse chemistry with lust and chose their online date based on explicit outfits or makeup. Don't make this mistake. You will quickly fall out of love when you discover the real thing. 2. Going overboard on the first date. Don't show off by doing extravagant things such as spend a lot of money on the first date to impress your date. Instead, keep things low and inexpensive. There's nothing wrong with meeting up for a picnic in the garden, walking on a beach, having a latte at Starbucks. Spending a lot of money every time you have a date can be a sign of lack of confidence. In addition, the first date is like an introduction of an essay. It has a great and lasting impression on the other person. If you take the habit of spending money extravagantly, she will expect that for the rest of the relationship. 3. Disclosing too much. It is a good deal to be real and open, but it's a mistake to divulge too much personal information. Be very careful with any personal information you disclose, especially before meeting in person. Identity thieves also operate on dating sites. You may become a victim of identity theft. Once identity thieves have your personal information, they can drain your bank account, run up charges on your credit card, open new utility accounts, or get medical treatment on your health insurance. Use a separate Google Voice and email address that does not contain personally identifiable information until you meet and decide that this person is real and has the right intentions. 4. Expecting too much. It can be very easy to believe that you found the person match according to a profile, but profile picture and bio can be deceiving. Avoid having high hopes until you meet in person. This is when the rubber meets the road. Building high expectations ahead of time may be preparing you for failure. This is a common online dating mistake people make. Be patient and careful and take things step by step. Unconsciously stalking. If you send a message to someone you think matches you perfectly. Don't worry if you don't get an email in return. Each person is different. And if someone is not inside you, just move to the greener pastures. Do not keep messaging. It may look scary. Some people may even think you're a stalker, which may result in complaints. Worse, account suspension. Six, hiding the true intention. People go online dating websites for different reasons. The very thing you are hiding may be the one the other dater is looking for. So be real and honest. If all you're looking for is a roll in the hay, say so respectfully and tactfully. If you prefer to be friends long before any romance, mention that too. There's no need to hide your intentions. They will come out in the end. 7. Wasting time in messaging. Don't fall into the trap of endless days of meaningless email conversations or text messages. After a few emails, ask to speak on the phone, have a short conversation, and then consider a face-to-face -face meeting. While you are doing dilatory, a rival may cut short your messaging romance. Finding a suitable partner also requires aptitude and common sense. 
Don't waste time doing childhood things. It is important to meet as soon as possible to see if there is a spark. 8. Sending mediocre first message. Don't just write a stock introduction and copy and paste it to everyone. Instead, get an idea of how you want to present yourself and focus on it. Talk to each member uniquely and originally. Articulate your approaches according to each member's profile. For instance, if you are an engineer and find someone who works in similar industries, start the conversation with a topic related to engineering. Members can discover public messages very easily and not many reply to them. Most importantly, don't make your first message something like a pedestrian. Hello. <laughs> It is not very difficult to make an introduction more attractive than that. 9. Using only free dating websites. Consider pay online dating websites over free websites. Going to a free dating site may seem more economical than paying for a paid membership, but generally paying website members are more serious about finding a relationship. They pay their money every month, so they are more apt to respond to messages to meet a, a potential partner. Paid dating sites offer more guarantees in many other ways, including identity theft protection. You can lose not only time, but also identity if you are consider not considering spending a few dollars on a short-term subscription. 10. Being obsessed with a unique type. Don't be obsessed with a unique type of date. Instead of looking for reasons not to communicate with people, try to find the things that appeal to you. Call or message anyone you share common interests with and see where you go. If brunettes never appealed to you, just go for a blonde or black. Do not narrow your search too much. You never know what kind of person you might fall for. Remember, the content of online profiles is limited in nature, so do your own research and send messages to the members the system may not automatically match you with. 11. Lying or changing your story. Don't automatically assume that people on a certain date website are not talking to each other. If you tell someone about the party animal that you are but try to appear as a home person to attract someone else, you can make a fool of yourself. Be real and honest. Don't go around saying something different to each member you chat with. 12. Not reading members' profiles. People spend a lot of time and effort creating their profiles. Do yourself a favor and actually read it. If you are outside a person's age or geographic location, don't call or send inappropriate messages. You may look like a fool annoying people. If you are a pet lover and have a striking profile, do not contact another member who clearly states she or he is allergic to cats and dogs. Reading online dating profiles Reading online dating profiles can take a while, but in the long term, it will make searching for that perfect person more efficient. 13. Posting younger age photos. The picture you post on an online dating profile is the image people have about you until they meet you face to face. Post your real and recent picture. People often don't seem like their best photo or photos of their younger ages. If you do, wonderful, but it is not the case for most people. But if you're like the rest of us, you only prepare for failure if you 45 and post a picture you took when you're 20. Instead, post regular and recent photos that really express your real age and facial features. 14. Being too aggressive. A common online dating mistake people make is being too pushy or aggressive. Don't push the person to share personal information or get together long before she or he feels comfortable with you. This may look desperate. 15. Being creepy. There's not much to say here other than this. Don't be that scary person that makes others feel nervous or frightened. No one likes to deal with creepy losers. They are often criminals. 
Online dating comes with serious risks. There are plenty of stories where people meeting online sometimes leads to murder. Don't be a victim. If you meet a creepy person on an online dating site, report him or her immediately. 16. Sharing phone number or Facebook too quickly. One of the most common online dating mistakes you may be making is trying to connect through social media and exchange phone numbers too quickly. Sure, you want to get together, but it is not a reason for you to inappropriately share or unsolicited phone number or Facebook profile page too soon. Some people do not like to be friends on Facebook and reveal a lot of information at once with people they meet on dating websites. Very fast sharing of Facebook profile may reduce many opportunities to explore and learn about a person. Even when some share their Facebook profile, it may appear aggressive or repulsive if you suddenly start liking and commenting on their social posts. 17. Having incomplete profile. If you are serious of finding someone on online dating websites, you should take the time to complete the information and answer the questionnaire and test. People may think you are fake or not really interested. An incomplete profile can mean you are not serious, but just browsing around, or worse, a sign that you're hiding something, and possibly hiding your true identity in order to deceive or scam others. 18. Meeting at dinner or a movie. Although it's common for people to have a first date at dinner or a movie, they are not ideal locations. Going to dinner is so intense, it tends to create unnecessary pressure which may impact your conversation. You will have to focus on the food and active environment while attempting to hold a meaningful conversation with your date. The problem with the movie is different. To allow your date to enjoy the movie, there must be little or no interaction, and that means no chance to really get to know each other. Ideal first dates involve walking in nature, talking while holding hands, and participating in activities that don't last too long or take your attention away from the dating, a trip to the zoo, or an amusement park. 19. Neglecting their bio. Writing your profile on a serious online dating site can be difficult. Say very little and members will think you are not serious. Say a lot, some will feel bored reading your Psalm 119 bio and move on. This is not the place to write your notes. You need to be specific and catchy in what you're saying. You are competing against hundreds of men or women like who you are trying to win the heart of the same person you're interested in. So create a short bio that sets apart from the rest. 20. Taking too long to move things offline. Once you establish some relationship with a member through chat or messages, now the trick is knowing when to transfer the conversation from a dating site to meeting face to face or at least asking for numbers. Most online dating members are not looking for a new pen pal. If you keep messaging without asking out, they may lose interest in your conversation and ignore you. In addition, it is quite common for people to delete their profiles without notice. So this is an additional incentive to get their number or WhatsApp at least before this happens. In general, you will need to exchange two or three messages on a dating site and six to ten messages on dating app before there is enough confidence and appeal to meet in person or share contact information. Thank you for watching the video to the end. If you have any suggestions or questions, please share them below with our viewers by commenting below. Here are seven simple tips to help make your online dating a great and safe experience. One, find the best dating site that is compatible to your need. Two, take online personality tests and intelligent matchmaking. Three, take and upload high quality photo videos. Use a Google Voice number instead of your real one. Five, video or live chat your new date before you meet him or her. Six, don't give out too much personal information too early.
Seven, create a good profile that summarizes your personal